Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out what are your important love messages. This is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Okay Leo, spirits and angels, please show me. Important accurate love messages for Leo. Today... Show me more. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Leo, please bear in mind that roles can be switched in this reading. Could either be you or the person whom you are thinking about or dealing with because this is not a personal reading, okay? So we've got the King of Cups here. Somebody is... Um, carrying a lot of deep emotions for you okay this person again maybe a pisces pisces cancer scorpio virgo capricorn taurus however it could also be you uh, or your person again it can be reversed four of cups is here feels like an offer was being made or will be made but somebody is dissatisfied and does not want to accept it okay um and queen of pentacles is here because somebody could be just focusing on your work on themselves and also we've got the tower here this may indicate an awakening yeah there's an energy of somebody awakening to the fact that hey they, they need to take care of themselves take care of their business or their career or their finances or their home front rather than um accepting love offers or you know especially for those of you leo if you are single um Perhaps feeling really dissatisfied with the options that perhaps you are present options that are presented to you, or it could go vice versa. It could be your person. Uh, maybe they have offers being presented to them and they don't want it. They're dissatisfied because they could be just waiting for you. Okay. Um, so we've got the Wheel of Fortune here. This may indicate Leo, your love life is going to change, but also this may indicate a long distance relationship for some of you. Um, if you're in a long distance relationship, feels like there's somebody here who is not satisfied with that arrangement that both of you have to be uh, apart from each other okay if you're in a long distance relationship however eight of cups is here it just feels like eventually um if it's a long distance your person is going to come to see you or that you're going to go to see them okay it's just a matter of divine timing with the wheel of fortune here um so we've got the uh, eight of swords here and reverse okay eight of cups can also indicate somebody walking away from somebody from their past you know perhaps a tower here could indicate something that somebody could have found out or realized that perhaps you know um, this relationship or connection wasn't for them so somebody has walked away or is walking away um, I feel like most likely has already happened this is already in your past and also page of swords here is in reverse after walking away from somebody it just feels like someone could, could be um, keeping tabs on you still interested to find out what's up with you okay or it could be you still interested in finding out what's up with your person Two of Swords is here, definitely indicates a choice between two person or somebody not speaking to somebody right now. Perhaps you and your person hasn't spoken to each other for a while. Or if there's any communication, it feels very slow or very cold or very little. And King of Pentacles here is in reverse. So a choice that somebody has made, um, perhaps not to pay attention to this person anymore or not investing in this connection anymore. However, still interested to find out how you're doing or vice versa. So let's see more. So somebody still loves somebody here. It feels like with the Nine of Pentacles, very slow energy would like to offer something here, something of value or something mm, could be a commitment as well. But I just feel someone is dissatisfied here. This is possibly why someone here is not offering something because they're afraid that this person is going to say no and also we've got the six of swords here for those of you again if you are in a long distance relationship it does feel like your person is waiting okay just sitting there and waiting with the two ones here <clears throat> waiting for that moment to come to be able to see you or be with you so seven of swords here is in reverse five of pentacles here 
Yeah, I feel like someone could be indecisive in regards of reaching out or wanting a second chance for this connection, Wheel of Fortune here. Uh, indecisive because they again they feel like maybe someone is going to say no or that it's going to be really hard for them or for for you five pentacles seven of swords here is in a reverse hmm. i feel like somebody is realizing maybe they did something wrong here in the past okay uh, seven of swords in reverse can indicate somebody getting caught by either cheating lying or being manipulative or being deceptive in some way or some way, shape, or form here in the past. It may not always mean that. So, swords also can indicate somebody avoiding somebody. Someone is avoiding uh, expressing how they feel and rather try and move on from this connection. So, sorry, Leo, I'm not feeling too well. <laughs> so, um, anyway, we've got the King of Swords here, Four of uh, Swords in reverse, and the Emperor here in reverse. Someone is feeling like, you know, this is completely out of my control. There's nothing I can do about this right now. I just gotta make sure, and I'm just going, <laughs> that's what I'm getting, I'm just gonna pretend I'm okay with the King of Swords here, because King of Swords has this very cold energy with them. Um, they may seem unbothered or unfazed by the separation and that both of you not together anymore. Um, I do sense somebody trying to maintain their cool and also trying to suppress their feelings towards you or oh, vice versa. Leo, so we've got the Three of Pentacles, the High Priestess in Reverse and the Three of <coughs> Swords here in Reverse. I feel like deep down someone really wants to talk about fixing things with the Three of Pentacles here and High Priestess in Reverse and to heal this connection. But feeling unsure for sword team of verse, possibly overthinking, feeling kind of restless. Um, could be planning and strategizing, but I don't see them taking any actions right away. I feel like it's going to be very slow if they ever do, because they're still indecisive. They're still thinking about it, okay? But ultimately, deep down, it feels like somebody here really does want to work things out. Three of Wands here is in reverse. This indicates somebody turning their back on somebody after a fight, arguments. Five of Wands can indicate drama, or it could be third party. Third party may not always mean another lover. could also mean um, friends or family who could have all external factors and internal factors that could have meddled into this connection could, that could have caused the separation. Ace of Pentacles here is in reverse. So this indicates a connection that may have started off pretty solid but it didn't take off. Perhaps for some of you or some of them, someone has lied or cheated or um, has been deceptive in some way, shape or form. We've got the page of wands here, Leo. Spirit's definitely saying, you know, the page is a messenger. Um, if you'd like to send a message to somebody, perhaps you can, okay? Perhaps there could be some sort of a closure because Wheel of Fortune is here just so, um, so that you can change the direction of your life in general and your love life. It does feel like it's affecting your life in general, this uh, whole your love situation here. But Page of Wands can also indicate somebody wanting to reach out, extend an olive branch, but you see, page of wands is still standing and not, not really walking. I'm not seeing pages, page of wands as walking. So I feel like the intention is there to reach out, but somebody here is just not making the move as of yet. Oh, all right, uh, Leo, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a video from my second vlog channel. It is a... It's my birthday bash video. If you're interested, check it out. I had so much fun. I'd like to share it with you guys. So you can just click on it on the screen on the left hand side. It'll take you straight to the video without you having to search for it if you're interested. If not, it's fine too. And Leo, I hope to see you tomorrow at your next reading as I post your videos almost every single day. And also, don't forget to hit on the bell button notification if you're interested to be notified every time when I post your videos. All right, Leo, take care. Bye.